Hello and welcome back to our Galactic Ruler Let's Play Poorly. Uh, if you've been watching this uh, series or this, in the last few episodes in real time, as it were, you'll notice it's become a bit of a Galactic Ruler week here on the channel. Uh, that's because I am absolutely determined to figure this shit out. Um, I am not the sort of person who gets frustrated at games because they're difficult in this way. I get frustrated at myself and then I just try harder. Uh, that's usually not the case, honestly. Most games will break me. But then every once in a while, one comes along that's like, no, you will not defeat me. I will be victorious. I will figure this out. Uh, and this is one of them because I freaking love this game. So uh, I have had some information back from the folks at Battle Goat Studios. Water Boys at this time are not supply carriers in the way that I had assumed that they were. They suggest that what we do is when you go to invade, you drop, um, you drop an outpost first. You land an outpost on the planet and then build out some infrastructure there while you have your your own uh, your own units down there so that they can defend themselves of course and then you use planetary transports to drop be right behind the lines when you're in your in your invasion to act as supply depots uh, until you can take a military complex that is able to where you can land or you create a supply depot of your own so that is what we're going to try and uh, today, uh, or I should say in this episode, but for me it's today because it is 8 o'clock in the morning on on a Sunday, we're going to freaking speed run to Pirate Town. Okay, uh, Cosmic Crusaders, that's, I'm sure, because, oh, yeah, it's because of these guys. Uh, pirates, yep, that's what I was expecting. Yeah, uh, and, oh, he made it, he made it. I was afraid that he was going to be dead, my, uh, my little, uh, um, survey guy. All right, speed run into Pirate Town. Focus beam weapons. I mean, if you've been following along in the previous seasons, this, this should be old hat, this early game up to the invasion point. So far, we have not yet been able to get past episode eight, <laughs> which is to say past our invasion point. Uh, but this time I think will be different for two reasons. One, because I will have a little bit more knowledge and also because we're not gonna have the energy crisis problem because of the mod. I just it's it's reducing cognitive load on me is is the is the real thing. It's like I don't have to worry about that part. Okay, so you're building a whole bunch of planetary explorers. The other thing of course is we're letting the uh governor do a whole bunch of stuff. We got a lot of engineers. I wonder why. I mean, we'll use them definitely. But we do have a lot of them. What are we building? We definitely want to get all of our uh, ground troop stuff going. All right, let's, uh, you know what? Let's see how uh, we have a research facility building, right? Oh, you know what I realized? Let's re re reset the hidden messages because we have the planetary governor building things and so I want to see the construction started stuff. Let's slow you down just a touch. All right, the research center is nearly half done. Do we know anybody yet? I know that this diplomacy tab, the panel is a little bit goofy. Um, it's got issues with correct 
listing, but you'll get them eventually if you if you tab them all over it. It, it again, it's like a it's an interface glitch that uh, can be worked around pretty easily. So okay, we got pirate floaters, which I think are these guys. And the cosmic crusaders are the ones up here. What do we got? Orbital shipyard has begun. Ooh. Okay, so the the governor super wants us to make. Oh, where, where's the where's the shipyards? What's this? Oh, dang it! Oh my god! Okay, so this is a this is a thing that I had not done before, and it's important now to uh, to kind of think through this. The planetary governor, the way we set him up, we have him doing offensive military and military materials and so forth. That's probably why we're getting a whole lot of shipyards. Which is not, I was a little bit more conservative in previous runs, and now, especially now that I don't have to worry about the energy, uh, we're very much not conservative. Holy crap! Another orbital shipyard! Wow, governor, you are, you are, you are so... You are so aggressive. I like it. Okay, well, you know. I mean, I hope this isn't one of those, like, let's build 20,000 survey drone type situations. Maybe it is. We'll see. Is this guy out of energy? No, he's not. He's just damaged, I guess. Oh, no, he's fine now. All right. Interstellar patrol ships. What are we building? More surveyors. Okay. Go for it, buddy. This is fun. Uh, letting my governor do stuff and just learning how the game expects it to be played in a way. All right. Now we're getting. Now we're going through. Oh, wait. Hang on. Energy field generator. Okay. Yeah. That's shields. Uh, so now we're getting a whole bunch of these things going in. Did he turn off? No, he didn't. It was these are the level twos. Okay. Okay, we're actually we're going down on agriculture, so let's go ahead and get agricultural techniques and then stellar mining facilities, which will be useful. It looks like our bottleneck is going to be agriculture now. Hmm. So I'm wondering what I can do if I, there's a way that I can get this guy. Oh, uh, is there a way to get this guy to not export as much or to, here's what we're going to do. We're going to lock him out of this for right now and we're going to input and we're going to output hundred percent of our capacity. Try to get this back up a little bit. It's interesting. The, the pirates are really kind of getting us on this line here. What are you doing? You're just... Oh, you're coming back from a survey. Hey, they're all coming back. That's great. That's so cool to watch. Watch them just like get back in. We never put down FTL beacons. Now that's an interesting problem. Um, oh, whoops. Because we do have it set up. In we had it set up in the game, which is the default to require beacons to transport to to go between systems. Doesn't actually seem to be required, which is fine. Ooh, power output multiplier. Yeah, he's trying to. He's doing some stuff. Let's uh, let's build up all of our warfare, and then yeah, I'm being very sloppy right now because we just want to get into a position where we can go after those pirates. It's an this is an inefficient early build, like definitely. So what the heck am I going to do with all this stuff?
All right, so agriculture is up to a slightly less uh, crazy spot. Like, so yeah, we're at 1400 now. We're building some cities. Which is interesting. I've never, uh, I've never really seen them do that before. Stellar mining facilities. Okay, so with stellar mining faci facilities, let's pause here. That's not you. I want over here. Yeah, so you've got ore availability in medium. So let's go ahead and build. Oh, wait, hang on. Where is it? Have I, have I just started stellar mining facilities? No. All right, what? Can I not build you there? Is it only down here? Oh, mining station, that's it. I was looking for stellar, but no, it's mining station. There. Keep some mining stations going. Get you some, oh, I can't do mining stations there. Why can I not do mining stations there? Oh, because he doesn't, no? Why not? Oh, this guy, okay, this guy definitely needs some stuff. Yeah, he's got no finished goods. Well, whoopsies. Let's give him a million. Oh, it's because he doesn't have... Uh, he never was able to build the orbital transport... Uh, the orbital uh, supply. Okay, so... Let's go ahead... Oh my god, we're building so many things. This 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 guy this this run is on is on uh, is on speed. All right. Okay, so I got to do do it this way. Let's let's get here. We're gonna scrap that. Switch back out. Go to one of our engine. Oh Jesus! Why are you making so many engineers, man? Oh no. Construct. No. Oh, he could. Oh. He could have as aided in construction there. Well, that's all right. Did that. Okay, it is done. It is. It is gone. Okay, good. 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 Now, now we should be able to do it. Build orbital storage there. You can also use them to aid in construction, which I think just makes it go a little bit faster. Holy moly. Why do we have so many? How about we don't make any more? We also have a ridiculous number of spaceports or orbital shipyards at this point. Stop making engineers, buddy. Oh my god, why do you want. Stop it! Alright, let's make something else ourselves. <laughs> What, what do we want to make? Um, well, nothing nothing at the moment is really what we need, so... Okay, fine. You can just make some planetary engineers out of here. I'll scrap them later if I, have, if I don't need them. Alright, now we've got orbital storage, and now we can talk to this guy. And tell him, here, have some finished goods. And now, let's build the mining station. Oh, we still can't. Why we can we not build mining stations here? Oh, because it's energy only. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he doesn't have the technology to do that himself. There we go. 
This is the place that I wanted it. Yes, okay, this is where we want the mining stations. All my surveyors coming home to roost. How much do we learn? How much have we learned about the world now? Oh my goodness. Have we done everything? Everything except here is only ha. That and and Lanui and the oh, I didn't see these first. Okay, that's very cool. Oh, there's an election coming. I hope we're not going to die. I hope we're not going to get um Let's find out. 30% approval rating. They like us. We'll be all right. Who are these? Oh, more interceptors. Yeah, if it weren't for the fact that we were trying to get to the pirate thing, I would not be running at this speed. This is stressing me out because I don't know, like with my Distant Worlds playthrough, it's like anything where I am not aware of what's happening on behind the scenes, a lot of stuff, I'm just like, oh my god, look at this. See, this is... Uh, I get very stressed out. So, uh, well, with these survey ships, we don't really need them. Holy cow. Let's go ahead and scrap these guys. And, oh my god, so many engineers. I could also tell the governor not to do any of that stuff. Not to, not to, uh, not to build. Oh, Jesus! Alright, yeah, fine. Alright, you're not allowed, you're not allowed to touch that anymore. I'm taking away your toys. Holy crap. You don't need that many planetary engineers, buddy. What are we going to do with them? I'll let you have like 10, but I mean, you can't have 50. You get six. You're going to be allowed to have six. And I'm going to get rid of these survey drones, too. Jesus, buddy. Come on, man. You're also not building any uh, attack fighters. I want more attack fighters. All right, so we've got an encounter with an alien race, the Raptorin. That sounds like what I would expect them to look like. All right, first contact. Successful. Okay, let's uh, negotiate with the Raptorin. We have a cons, or we're we about to get a consulate. Done. Alright, we're about middling with them. Let's see what we can get. Can we get some free trade? Oof. And then, uh, resource status? No. They definitely don't want to do that. Alright, let, let's put the free trade on there and then in that. And then maybe we can... Uh, unacceptable. Let's see, if, let's see if they'll give us uh, a, another... A counter offer of some sort. Our people hate you. So any attempts at diplomacy are just a waste of time. Okay. I thought it, they were saying my people hate me and they won't want, let us do anything. But no, it's the Raptor and don't like us. Okay. Well. All right. We're probably going to have to go to war with them at some point. Orbital weapon platform. FTL range improvement. FTL charge improvement. Oh, and we do finally have our third research. Okay, we're doing okay against these guys, uh, against our... Uh, our rivals.
So we're still getting a lot of planet surveys done. So yeah, we've got surveyors out who are still doing their stuff. That's good. Again, like I said, if I were if I were playing this not in speedrun mode to get to the pirate thing, I probably would want to do that much more slowly. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend it's not. I mean, I'm gonna pretend that the world is already fully and fully known, and I'm gonna like, you know, yeah, all right, we'll we'll get it when we get there. At least one thing that um, that that is nice about, um, I guess, okay. So for me, the one thing that's really nice about the game is that. The map is the map, and it's pretty easy to interpret the map, especially since we're only doing 50 stars, so that I don't have to be... It, it doesn't freak me out the way it does in Distant Worlds 2, where, where the map is designed to kind of be a little bit more discreet, right? Like, or not indiscreet, like, like much more continuous flow of, of stuff, whereas here it's discreet little spots which makes it easier for me to kind of track what I'm doing. And so having full coverage, full, full visibility on everything is not as uh, hard for me to uh, to deal with as it is in like Distant Worlds 2 or something. All right, I think it's about time for us to start working on our ground forces. Oh, Governor, go for it. I guess you're doing it already. Got a whole lot of stuff here. Okay, so one thing to note is that these little pips here indicate relative strength. And I've got a bunch of one pip things. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the one pips do a little bit of a Tortuga Power style management. Is that all of our one pips? No, we got two more one pips. There. Oh, and a whole bunch of these little scout thingies. And the old labs and ma uh, and yeah, labs and scouts that we started with. One of the different things about. Uh, Galactic Ruler is that there is not as much of a focus on refitting. Like there, I think there are some things that can refit, but you don't refit ships to improved models the way you do in in a lot of other games. Uh, same thing with the ground troops. It's much more, I want to say, a little bit more realistic in that you don't, you really just like you keep your old shit going around and you don't like retrofit them that much. Um, no, there's there's my thing. Um, you just build better ones and then use the other ones until they die. All right, so we're not building any more of these things, which is great. A whole lot of interceptors and then a small number of attack fighters and some corvettes. Okay, so these surveyors Let's just scrap those. We're not going to use them again. What are we building? Supply Depot, okay. 
how many is that like is that is that gonna fit how much is that gonna fit in the transports like the transports can hold a shit ton which is not something I, I like I was aware of what are you oh fun looking tank there look at that What's the difference between the anvil and the boulder? Boulder's a little bit faster, but has a, and has a bigger range. Hmm. This has a better close defense and a better ground defense. So, okay, so the boulder's a little bit faster, but a little bit weaker. Oh my goodness, so many planetary surveys. We are just going everywhere. This is amazing. Alright, so we're at 27 minutes. I am going to run this episode long. Because again, this is Speed Run to Pirate Town. Alright. Let's hotspot this guy. Attack. Now, the way the game handles attack hotspots and things like that is it doesn't stage the ships which is a bit of a a bit of a problem but you know it is what it is i think mainly you would use those hotspots for things where you really aren't super concerned about the likelihood of uh destruction but you know what? I'm actually going to delete that, and we're gonna we're gonna actually go ahead and start gathering our forces. Oh, we need a uh, we need planetary transports. We'll get four of those. All right, one thing I do want to check is the difference between a Corvette and my other things here. Thirty-one, thirty-four, twenty-two, twenty-seven, thirty-one, and zero. Okay, the Corvettes are a bit of an improvement over. All right. guys are really are trying to like yeah they're kicking that orbital shipyards in the ass there okay the problem is we don't have supply over there days for the planetary transports.
Now, one thing I did find out is that the speed at which these things construct is dependent on supply and probably also, I think, also having planetary uh, engineers in the area. We knew that, but also apparently supply levels do impact the speed of building. Yeah, so these guys are building over here. And these guys are building at the main. And I think there are... It's because the engineers are here? Oh, well, no, they're, they're in reserve, so I don't know. building their shipyard. Okay, so we are nearly there with the planetary transports. Encounter, oh, with Rapture and Kokuria, we've met the, that colony. Do we know anything about any of those guys? Oh, we've, I don't know that I've met these guys. Stelloptare. All right, let's negotiate with these guys, get a consulate going. Ooh, they like us. Yeah. Let's uh, let's see about getting some stuff from them. Free trade. Resources. We'll start from that. Got it. Okay. They don't have anything we need. We're running a little bit low on finished goods, but we have a chunk of ore. I wonder if we can get a little bit of finished goods from them, just a couple million. Give them some ore. Oh gosh, no. Uh, maybe we give them some agriculture? Yes, okay, we'll do that. Just uh, Just to get the juices flowing a little bit. Nice. Just a few more days on the first transport. All right, so at this point, what I'm going to do... I'm going to take all these guys, create a battle group, turn off governor, governor control, and I'm going to get them all around here. About 40 of those, 40 units are there, so... These interceptors add to group one, turn off governor control, move them over there. These guys add to group one, no governor control. This is the Avengers assemble section of the, of the preparation. Now, if I were being smart, or if I were playing against an actual human, I would almost certainly not be letting my guys all get away from these these uh, colonies, but... A couple of our guys have lost power, that's all right.
We have one planetary transport out. That one is in battle group one now. Oh dear, are we having a fight? Yes, we are. Down here. Alright, come on, planetary transports. Get done. Done. Alright. So, uh, one, two, three, battle group two. First thing we're going to have you guys do is uh, fix, fix these three, these bunch of guys there. Scrap my surveyors. Oh, looks like I missed one of my... Okay, this transport didn't end up in the... I must have moved it to the wrong one. Well, no, I'm going to I'm gonna keep those... I'm going to keep him in that battle group. Oh, shoot. I did the wrong thing there. There we go. Okay, that's done. Those guys are good. Now we're going to go up here, cover those guys. Building a whole lot of cities. Oh boy. There we go. All right, now let's head those guys back over here. Now we we'll go down here. Holy moly. Let's pause. We don't want these anymore. Let's go ahead and scrap them. I shouldn't have done that. Um, let's see. Let's deploy everybody. Oh, hey, I'm not doing it right. There we go. Let's. Let's go. Oh, it's taking a second for them to deploy. I didn't expect that. Usually, it deploys real fast, but I guess these guys can't deploy instantaneously.
but we don't want any of the naval ships. We do want the air guys. Oh, those guys deploy real fast. There we go. Now, let's go ahead, load to orbit. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. There they are. Everybody is ready for party. Okay. Now. Transports. All four are here. Good. Load all units. Done. You guys are you're full. You're about half full. You have a couple of things here, not much. And you are supply. Holy moly. Okay, so let's go ahead and stage our military units right down here. Stage our transports right behind them. Now we need a survey unit, don't we? Right, because we don't we don't have this place. Yeah, we don't have a survey yet. So let's go ahead and build survey drone. Now let's go find it. I'm going to stage you up here. And let's take an engineer. We're going to need to make the outpost. We're going to put you back here. Having a fight somewhere. Oh, I bet it's down there. Okay, so we're gonna get all these guys up to here to attack that station and shipyard. We're gonna need our transports in support for supply. And then we'll have our survey ship ready to survey the planet surface so that we can then drop. And our engineer.
How are we doing our research? Uh, it looks like, yeah, the governor's doing his doing his thing. All right, our uh, planetary transports are nearly there. Because we've been so far, uh, to this point, a lot less concerned about all the other things that are going on around us. Uh, we've managed to speed run to Pirate Town in like an hour and a half. Hour and 15. Which is about two and a half hours ahead of schedule for myself, usually. Which is interesting. But it does mean that we're probably going to have a whole lot of cleanup to do on the back end, uh, assuming this works, to kind of learn what the hell is el what the hell else is happening in the galaxy. So. Got it. Okay, now. First, I realize we actually need two planetary engineers, don't we? Engineer one. Build an orbital station. Take the take the space outside of the planet. And you are gonna just come up here. Yes, okay, now we control the terrain, the space around here. Now we gotta get this guy. Wait, actually, do we do we not even? Oh, we don't need to survey because the station does it for us apparently. All right, you get to go home, and you get to die. All right, engineer. Here we go. This is where this is where the rubber hits the road. We're going to save the game. Build outpost. Villanilia. These are the bad guys. Okay, they have this little zone. Oh boy, I'm excited. Where do we want? Oh, and they've got they've got some of this over here. Oh, they do have a fair amount of stuff. So we need to find a spot where we can. That's an industrial comp. We need a military complex to be able to make a supply depot, right? They don't have one. There. They're all industrial. Oh, uh, there's a military complex. So we're gonna want to end up going there. To, supply depot as a way of getting supplies so that we can take out their city. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, this is, looks like some kind of bad terrain there. Let's see, is there a way to, yeah, defense, okay, yes, defensive terrain. That's close combat terrain. So let's, uh, let's put it back here, behind here. Cannot colonize this location. All right, fine. Let's figure this out. Can we colonize over here? Oh no! Oh, it's got to be. Oh, we can't do it on this this area. We got it. It's got to be on regular ground. Okay. 
Cannot, what? Does it have to be farther away? Cannot colonize. Mm. Okay, maybe we've got a problem. Wonder why that is, but well, we okay, so we do know that planetary transports can provide supply. We just have to remember to uh, to use them as a, we have to get our military back to them to re replenish and so on. So let's see. Well, we have the game saved. Let's save it one more time just to be sure. And we're gonna pause here, end the episode, just above the planet, ready to go. We're flush with supplies up here, with, you know, uh, general faction supplies, so we're not going to run into the problem that we're having at the end of Season 2. When we come back, hopefully I will have learned more about what to do about this guy to get the outpost going. Maybe I have to land first, and we'll, we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about this. I felt good about it last time, too, so you know what use that is, but I feel pretty good about this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.